Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and we got a call about a rental property where the tenant was reporting that there was water coming down through the bathroom exhaust fan. And we've done one other video about that before, but this seemed like a real good opportunity to show you what else we've got going on. So let me show you why this problem occurs, if you haven't seen the other video already. So this right here is the exhaust ducting for that bath fan. And you can see down at the bottom of it, there is a wet spot and you come up here you can see that this duct work does not exhaust out of the roof although they terminated it right here underneath a box vent uh, that moist air still can't get out and in fact i don't know if i can get in on this nail you can see a drop of water right there uh, there's actually drop of water a little bead of water at the bottom of almost every one of these nails. And that's what happens when you vent a bath exhaust fan into an attic instead of going out through the roof. So what happens is all that uh, moist air comes out of the bathroom, comes through the house, through the bathroom, up that fan uh, exhaust vent, gets up here in the attic, and then it all condenses and it goes either back down the ducting uh, or it goes on the outside of the ducting and then as you can see back down there it ends up right at the base of the fan or uh, the base of the pipe or inside the pipe and comes back down through the bath exhaust fan. Looks like the uh, owner has tried to wrap some insulated sheathing around this. Uh, this looks like a homemade kind of job, do-it-yourself project, but the real solution is this needs to actually vent outside the roof. We've got a second one right here. Again, not vented out through the roof. And you can actually see all the moisture glistening off of here. In fact, if I hit this right here, you can see that, that water coming off of there, probably. But look at all the rot that's occurring in this wood. See, so what is happening, you can see that big stain. This is all wet right here. And then if we look down at the base of this one, right underneath it, you can see all the water that's collecting. It's surprising that they actually don't have a leak uh, coming through the ceiling below this. And again, right here, you can see how somebody has tried to wrap this with insulation, thinking that that was going to solve the problem. So that is actually part of the solution. These uh, ducts do need to have the uh, an insulated sheathing around it. However, there is an actual product made specifically for that. And so what we're going to recommend to the owner of this property is to replace this coil duct with another pipe uh, with the insulated sheathing that goes around it and actually penetrate through the roof and put a cap on the roof so that this can exhaust out of the house so that way we don't have any more of the problems that we're seeing with all of this moisture. Again, here's another nail head where probably see some of that water coming off of it and it's like that here's another one you can see so that water just collects in here and this one really is kind of an extreme example because it's rotting the decking also